Your daughter is really moving with this hand makeup, eh? Yeah, my makeup is eyebrow pencil, so... <laughs> well, she's doing well. You know, I said, if we were to ask people, mm. if you were going to be on an island and you could only take one, make, one, one item of makeup, what would you take? Mm. The best thing to take is eyebrow pencil. Why? Because you can use it for so many things. Okay. Like what? Eh? Like what? <laughs> you can use it in three different places on your face. Okay, but lipstick, you only put it here. Eyebrow pencil here. People don't murder, don't murder me. Eyebrow pencil here. Here. Where? <laughs> Around your eye. Uh -huh. Please don't murder. And to like your pips. <laughs> okay, I don't want to sound old. I want to say in our time. But, gosh, that's <laughs> not terrible. You're not sounding old. You are old. <laughs> you are. You but, are. <laughs> but for real, eyebrow pencil is all that you need. Mm. If, what do if I you need? Are, you don't need anything. That's a sad thing. Men don't have to wash their face. They don't have to use special soap. Their skin is fine. Who told you? Really Look at my that. skin. I use special C. Mm. It's not. Bar soap will work for men. Anything. <laughs> that is such an insult to yes, the male yes, race. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So, bar soap. Anyway, so eyebrow pencil. No, no, no. Say yeah. I'm sorry to all the men that are watching you. No, bar soap is very, very healthy. Everybody can even use it. Can use it to wash your clothes. Can use it to wash clothes. <laughs> and you can use it to shower. It, it's actually very... It's no, no, so it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh. Just take a deep breath. Uh, <laughs> take a deep breath, breathe in. Uh -huh. I'm not doing anything. Oh, just... That's something. That's something that you are, <laughs> you are okay. attacking men for nothing. Mm. Mm. So if you have to go somewhere mm. and you only, can only take one thing, I will take. Uh, would you, women? Okay, what would you take? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I take one thing or one item for makeup. One item for makeup. If you were to take for me, you take lipstick. I know you. Uh, red. That's all. Yeah, you take red lipstick. I take red lipstick. Can you my stomach make a noise? How are you eating? Yes, you have. You know that person's sound of music. My stomach's making noises. I yeah. wonder what the grass tastes like. Yeah. Uh, you have eaten. I've eaten. Why are you looking at my stomach like that in a very despiseful way? So you would choose lipstick, huh? Yes, red lipstick for you. Mm. And for me, I'll choose lip balm. Okay. What? No comment. Because <laughs> <laughs> do you use lip balm? Yes, now. What's that lovely lip balm? I use it every... Because my lips get dry, and you know, with this weather. Mm. So I use lip balm. What's that? Camex. Uh -huh. mm. It's really nice. Okay. okay. So you want... That's what we're talking about today. Different personalities. Mm. You know, every household is made up of different personalities. Mm. And getting these personalities to blend together mm. and live happily ever after mm. is a tall order. Mm. So you find someone that wants to take an eyebrow pencil, you know, mm -hmm. and then you have someone who wants to take other things. But I read a book once. Mm. It was called The, the One Minute Millionaire. Mm. And they did a very interesting classification of personalities. Are you comfortable? That are, why? Because this arm chair, the armrest is working. No, no leave your easy. hand like that. It's comfortable like that. You are not comfortable. Mm -mm. <laughs> Go on. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. just talk. Where are we? The book you read. Uh -huh. So they had um, different personalities that I found very interesting. They called it the HOTS analysis. H-O-T-S. HOTS. And the H stood for the hair. And what they said was that the hair personality is that personality that is bubbly, always comes up with ideas. They don't have follow through. Mm. But theirs is ideas. Mm. They generate ideas. Mm. 
Then there is the owl. Mm -hmm. And they said that the owl represents that personality mm -hmm. that may not come up with the idea, but when you tell them the idea, mm -hmm. they will tell you the next 10 steps that you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to see this. They make the connection. Mm -hmm. So that's the O. Then there's the turtle. And they said the turtle is that one that believes slow and steady wins the race. Mm -hmm. That they are not coming up with the idea, they are not doing all that. But they will analyze your idea mm -hmm. and they will look for all the loopholes in your idea. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Then there's the squirrel. Mm -hmm who does not come up with any idea, but when you give them the idea, mm -hmm. they execute. So you have the hair, the idea generators, the owl, the idea, um, find the idea, uh, they're the ones that make the connections mm -hmm. for the idea. There is the turtle, mm -hmm. they fine tune the idea mm -hmm. and analyze it and then there is the squirrel mm. that executes. Mm. Now, which one are you? I am a turtle with some owl. Sorry, sorry, with some hair. You? Not hair on the head. <coughs> hair and turtle. You? You are, you are hair and... What are you? Mm -hmm. You are hair and uh, and and squirrel. Is, is is that a combination? I would say you are more of what did you say you are? Turtle. Yes, you are turtle. Mm. And I, I think you are dominant turtle. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else is there. I think I will probably be dominant owl. Mm. Or what do you think? You you have the owl and you have air. You are more of a hair before but i guess as you have grown older you are now more of an owl and less of an hair less of a hair so before you have you just come up with ideas not enough follow through just take off but now you you are more of an you think you're very you're saying very, i wasn't thinking before you are you are maybe but, just not enough but but now you are like the owl. You think everything through thoroughly, and then you have you have the creativity to it. So that's why I said you are mm. Mm, an owl. I know <laughs> this is a very interesting conversation because mm. the if you put the hairs mm. and the owls together, mm -hmm. no hairs mm. and owls, you will have so many ideas, mm -hmm. brrr, mm. so many ideas. The place is full of ideas, mm. but no follow through. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and in, in such cases, you have so many abandoned projects. Mm -hmm. You start it, uh, mm -hmm. then if you have a, a place where you, you now put the Turtle. hairs and the turtles Turtle. mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. there'll be fireworks. Mm -hmm. Because the turtle will be checkmating the owls, mm -hmm. the hairs every time that. Go back and think about this. Mm -hmm. Go back. And, so the hairs will think, these guys are not progressive. Mm -hmm. The the turtle mm -hmm. within the hairs are their feather brain. Mm. Then if you put the turtles and the squirrels mm -hmm. together, mm. you will have a very finely run organization, mm -hmm. but no innovation. Mm -hmm. Nothing new is ever happening. Mm -hmm. Why is this important? Mm. Because in the household, even among the children, the whole mm -hmm. family, we need to know because when we take time mm -hmm. to understand the personalities we are living with, mm -hmm. it helps us mm -hmm. to relate with them appropriately. Mm -hmm. There are some people that, and you know, a lot of times we have people, parents who tell us, oh, we raised all of them the same way. Mm -hmm. We don't know why this one turned out this mm -hmm. way. And that's the problem. Yeah. So they're different. They are different. <laughs> and I think it's important mm. that we take time mm. to know the people that we in you know around us. Mm. And all that. Because when you look at the children, let's look at the children. So Tommy Day would you what would you call him? Tommy is a turtle. 
It may be an owl and a turtle. Is that can, I think can he's, that a, a, he's an be? owl mm-hmm. and turtle. Mm-hmm. He's an and he's the he's he fine tunes the ideas yes, and he analyzes he's them. Into details. He's into the details. Mm-hmm. So when I come up with all those mm-hmm. rest, you will throw all build the, the house yes, in yes, the moon. Yes, yes. He will just pop, 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 mm-hmm. and he does it in such a diplomatic way. Mm-hmm. He does it mm-hmm. in such a very mm-hmm. very fine way. Mm-hmm. How about you, how about uh, Ola? I think Ola is is more like you is hair and owl. An owl. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are you sure? What is it? Okay. How about Fumi? <laughs> Yeah, like, what is she? <laughs> she's, uh, she is, I think she's hair and owl as well. I think so. Mm. Because mm. even with her makeup and all that, mm. the kind of breakthroughs, I mean, Fumi has done phenomenal things, reach mm. out to some of the biggest makeup people in the world, mm. you know, on her own. Mm-hmm. Nobody mm-hmm. told her to do it, nobody mm-hmm. promised. She did that and now, they you know in talks mm-hmm. with powerful partnerships mm-hmm. and all that mm-hmm. so i think that that's very very important mm-hmm. and you know guys if you don't know mm-hmm. if you don't take time and this is not something that just happens mm-hmm. you have to consciously mm-hmm. take time to know mm-hmm. the people in your household let me tell you how i am uh and I, and I think one of the disadvantages for people who get married and are not patient with each other and then break is that you miss, if you can just handle that season for a bit mm. and you, you get past that, you get to understand each other better and appreciate mm. each other better. And so you make a better team going forward as mm. years go by. Mm. And in the beginning, you would always have all these ideas, mm. you know, and... A lot of times when you would tell me that this is what I'm thinking, what do you think? I would say I would say something like I hear you. And I used to get very angry. Because what I hear you meant I'm hearing what you're saying, but nothing is registering. That's what I meant. That was so annoying. And but after a few accidents, mm-hmm. after when we first got married, it got to a point where whenever I said I hear you, you would not make a move mm. until I was on board because then you understood that I was not seeing what you were but seeing. But it also worked the other way that because we had gotten to know each other mm-hmm. and you had seen a track record also mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. the things that had worked, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it was easier for you. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Mm. That if you, it's important, you know, last week we were saying that scripture that says men should dwell with their, their wives, wives according, according to, knowledge. to knowledge. It's important to get to know, the man to get to know mm. his wife and the wife, you know, to get to know her husband as well. Because if you, the thing that attracts you to the person before you marry them is like likely to be that not that they were exactly like you it's mm. the like opposite opposites attracting mm. and it's because there's something in you that i need mm. that i will need going forward there's something in me that you will need i think in the courtship stage we excuse we 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 are fine with that mm. that diversity but after marriage as time goes on it can become annoying that mm. This person is not on board. Yeah, it became all. annoying because you can imagine. So I have this fantastic vision, this idea, and I share it with my wife, and she just goes, "Okay." Like, let me tell you the most annoying, one of the most annoying things you've ever done in this world. What? So, guys, I wrote a book. Hmm? You wrote a book. Uh, well, one of my books. Mm-hmm. You know, in, uh, you know, and um, it was. I think it was mental independence also. Mm-hmm. I wrote that book, and so at night, I had a dream. Mm-hmm. that that book had sold half a million copies mm-hmm. you know quickly like that so mm-hmm. i was so excited i woke up and i woke taiwo up mm-hmm. i said taiwo 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 mm-hmm. you know in the middle of the night mm-hmm. <laughs> she just said what she said, i just had a dream i said i dreamt that we sold five hundred thousand copies and then she just goes okay and covers herself i was so angry so but god used it to teach me something wait god used it to teach me something Uh so guys and this works for everybody the big lesson i took out of that was this Mm. even though she was sleeping on the bed beside me Mm -hmm. she could not testify Mm. 
about my dream. So, no dream has a witness. A lot of you have great dreams out there and you are not doing anything about it because you are looking for somebody to verify and to say, yes, I validate that dream. If my wife could not validate my dream, my friend, mm -hmm. why are you holding me? I want to say something. Let me tell you. But I talk with my mouth. Why are you holding my hand? Let me tell you a deep secret now. What? You know, for quite a while, I've had you tell the story. You mm -hmm. had a dream that you... How many copies? Mm. How many copies? You, Half a million. Half a million copies in your dream. Let me not tell you a secret. Mm -hmm. You see the story I said? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. You, you have, have even made wait, it wait, worse. You have a dream. You wake somebody in the middle of the night <laughs> to, to tell them that... You have even made this thing worse so all now. All this time, I just listen and think, ah, okay, okay. But since... You, can you even hear yourself? What? I am asleep. You wake me up. Mm. Taiwo, Taiwo, Taiwo. I just had a dream. So, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. we are married. In the middle of so the night. So I should be able to wake you up in the middle of the night with good news. To tell me that. And he expects in the morning that. So, I'm telling you now. I have recollection of the day you woke me up. I, I just thought, eh, okay. But I said that, fine. You see what I'm saying about personalities now? Mm -hmm. Now you're telling me. I don't know, I've been telling that so you're not telling me you go, you have no recollection. I'm even on strike. I'm on hunger strike now. I'm not even. Yeah, you won't eat anything for the next five minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. <laughs> so it, the, the, it's important that you understand the personalities you're No, 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 no. My hunger strike. You said I won't eat anything for the next five minutes. Yeah, you're striking. Yeah. Uh, for five minutes. What do you mean five minutes? <laughs> okay, until we finish the show. Anyway, you see what we're saying about understanding personalities. Mm -hmm. You know, last week she was hitting me and saying one pack bubble. Now she's telling me all sorts of yeah, fra fra. Thing. That's your new name, fra fra, f r a f r a, fra fra. And as what about fra fra is when you scratch your head, fra fra fra. I hear that some people said it is people from Ibadan, where I'm from. That's how they that fra fra is an Ibadan word. So my one pack bubble, Mister Fra Fra. <laughs> you know, okay, this administration will not uh, react to these acts of provocation. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So guys, I think the bottom line is take time to know the people mm. you are relating with. Appreciate what drew you to that person mm. in the first place. Don't... Mm. You will save yourself so much stress, so much disaster so much so many problems if you will just be open to yeah. like what you said last week about divergent divergent views mm. the likelihood is that you're not so going to find someone that, that no divergent <laughs> views. The, 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 the 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 likelihood is that you are not going to agree and be exactly the same otherwise you don't need each other if you yeah, are now, the point is mm. taking time to know each other mm -hmm. will help yes so yeah. um now, mm. when I share something with her mm -hmm. and she's not as enthusiastic as mm -hmm. I would want her to be, mm. I see it as a plus, mm. not a minus. Mm. Because, I mean, my son and I work together mm. and I've seen how it has helped us in mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. where I will have something mm -hmm. and, you know, at, in, in our work, mm -hmm. I am more of the the hair and Tommy Day is a very dominant owl. Mm. So mm. when we have our strategy sessions and our meetings mm. and all that, he's able to think it through. Mm. And he will come give me regular briefings. Mm. This is where we are. Mm. These are the things we need from you. Mm -hmm. And we need it by this time. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I found out that just embracing mm. this you know, different personalities mm -hmm. makes me mm -hmm. a better person, mm -hmm. makes him a better person, mm -hmm. and makes the entire family mm -hmm. a better family. And makes you makes your work more effective. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So guys, don't mm -hmm. see the difference in personality mm -hmm. as a weakness. Mm -hmm. See it as a strength yes. and maximize that strength so please comment mm -hmm. and let's know your thoughts about this mm -hmm. 
Um, join us. We have weekly programs mm -hmm. every Monday on Zoom at uh, first, I think on Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Join Taiwan and I for what we call Sunday Common Sense, mm -hmm. which is conversations around the Bible and life. Mm -hmm. Sunday Common Sense, Sunday, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. On Monday mm -hmm. at 7.30 p.m. East African time, that's GMT plus three, mm -hmm. we have a Bible study where, you know, it's conversations with different people mm -hmm. just asking questions and we're having a discussion mm -hmm. around, you know, topical issues from the Bible. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday, 5.30 East African time, again, GMT plus three. Mm -hmm. We have our street university mm -hmm. where we're dealing with, you know, all sorts of matters related to leadership, business, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. That's Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, 7.30 p.m., we have Faith Impact with our pastor, mm -hmm. you know, which is a beautiful, beautiful time of, mm -hmm. you know, uh, learning. Uh, learning. Then on Thursday, 5.30 p.m., we have another Street University session. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday mornings at 10.30 a.m., mm -hmm. we have what we call the Street University special, where we bring different guests. Mm -hmm. And what did you think of the last one with Iniedo? The last one was fun. We had Iniedo. She's a Nollywood actress. Um, I'm sure people know her. Okay, yeah, okay. So She has 9.5 million followers on Instagram. We're well, sorry. Yes, she should be. <laughs> so, uh, so she was on, was awesome, hearing from her, a journey mm. to where she is now. Yeah. So, join us. All these times are, you know, will be on the screen for you. Mm. So, join us. Um, it's not just this super homes. Mm. Join us and be part mm. of this great family. Ah, I want to do a big shout out to some people. Mm -hmm. um, a big shout out to... Uh, what what ended Henry? Henry Itsha from Dubai. It's so good mm -hmm. to have you on. You are so consistent. Mm -hmm. You comment on everything. How's your lovely wife? Mm -hmm. Regards to We're her. Coming. Yes, we are coming mm -hmm. to Dubai. But where I want to go now is South Korea because of all the South Korean things I watch. Okay. So we'll go to South Korea. We'll go to Dubai. Mm -hmm. And then from Dubai, we'll go to Seoul. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, um, my sister, Olive, from Mombasa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Olive, you are precious, mm -hmm. truly precious. Amen. An honor to have you um, as our friend uh, and, on, and also on this platform. And thank you so much for bringing this up for the last session. Mm -hmm. Then my sister, Buki, from the U.S. <laughs> No, I, I, I'm so happy with the way you said to Taiwo, 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 how many times did I call you? Please, keep her in check. At least she will listen to you. Mm? <laughs> so that was really nice. And then we have Peace from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, and let's keep this party going. Really appreciate, you know, that people, um, the truth is we're humbled by how people are responding to yes. this. Yes. Um, like I've said before, it was not something that we planned. We didn't know this would become a regular thing. It began with our 24th, 27th wedding anniversary mm. when we just wanted to encourage people about marriage. But we really are passionate about marriages and marriages working. Mm. And we want you to know that yours can be the same. Where There's nothing special about us. It's just that we've taken the time over the years to, you know, to get to know each other. Absolutely. So next week... People, many people have asked questions, you know, but guy directed to you. Mm. So next week, I'm going to have, on Super Homes, I'm going to have a special guest. His name is Frafra, <laughs> my husband. So all those questions that people have been asking, I will be the presenter and I will be asking Frafra those questions. Don't let this name stick, oh. You know. Tell us what Frafra means and I'll stop. <laughs> Okay. Want to tell us what it means? <laughs> All right. I will. So, guys, a lot of people have asked questions about mm -hmm. me, my business, my different things. Then they've asked mm -hmm. questions, mm -hmm. you know, um, about different aspects of my life. So, please mm -hmm. send in those questions, you know, if you would like me to deal with that. And yeah. then um, the Fra Fries will address those questions. That won't stick. Uh, watch. Fra Fra. Fra Fra. 
Also. Watch. You watch. You uh -huh. <laughs> try. You just try that for a frat. Then I will now do fre fre. Mm -hmm. You will see. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies so and gentlemen. Fra 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 no, oh, Auntie Fred, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy Fred. Which reminds someone wanted to see what was under your head. Remember? I just remembered now. <laughs> Auntie because... Fred. Okay.